Bellator MMA live on Spike on the road to Dynamite. The final stop was at Pachanga Resort and Casino in Temecula, California. And it began with one of the legendary names in women's MMA, Marluz Conan, and did she ever put on a clinic? That's right, did what she is best at, which is her submission game. Takedown, submission attempts throughout this fight. Arlene Blenko tried to make it a brawl, tried to make it a war on the feet, but that opened her up to the takedown of Marluz Conan. You see here, not just getting position, but going for submissions here, an armbar attempt. Trying to roll for a knee bar, and it was this near side arm bar that was the end for Blenko. Went belly down, and the hit pressure too much for Arlene Blenko to escape. Brutal finish this. Look at the arm bend backward and the tap, and that is it. Another win for Marluz Kunin. Her 23rd win, 17th by submission. And then it was on to the heavyweights. Everyone by now knows the story of Justin Wren. Babuti Mungbo, the big pygmy, and he ran into a rhino. This was a much better fight than we thought it would be. That's right, Josh Burns landing some good punches in the opening minute of this fight, did some damage in the first round. It took Ren a while to adjust. Then he started clinching, landing good right hands, but the most damage up against the fence. These brutal knees question a lot. Don't question the chin of Josh Burns. He hung tough in this fight, despite taking a ton of damage. Some nice right hands answering back when he could, but it was the pressure and versatility of Justin Rand that gets him a unanimous decision. And then the highly anticipated showdown in the lightweight division. It began with talk of disrespect. It ended up being as professional and respectful a fight at a high level as you could hope for. That's right, both guys respectful of the power of their opponent. Both guys trying to control the range, and it was Patricky Pitbull, I think, getting stronger as this fight progressed into round two and three, finding his range, using his versatility to land punches. Also, got the takedown when he needed it against Sayed Awad. Sayed Awad trying to keep Patricky back with the jab, but those moments, the flurries, the combinations, sealed close rounds for Patricky Pitbull. So did the takedown. The fight belonged to him by decision. If Will Brooks, the lightweight champion, gets past Marcin Held on November 6th, Patricky Pitbull could be next. It was the much anticipated Bellator debut of Melvin Gillard, a golden opportunity for Brandon Gertz to put himself on the map, and did he ever in no time flat? That's right. Early in the first round, landed a punch and a huge takedown. Spent the entire first round inside control. After that, more of the same, trying to set up not just the right hook over the top, but the straight left to set up the takedown of Melvin Gillard. Melvin Gillard, it seems, surprised by the speed and physicality of Brandon Gertz, not able to catch him coming in, not able to use the explosiveness with which he is famous for. And in the third round, though, the tide looked like it might turn. Melvin Gillard catching Brandon Gertz, turning around and unloading, swarming him, trying to find a finish in the final minute, but it was not to be as Brandon Gertz finished the round on top to win a split decision victory. And take a big step up in the lightweight division. A phenomenal night at Pachanga. For the latest Bellator news and information, it's Bellator.com.